As a swirling, thousand-mile-long snowstorm is clobbering much of America, grounding flights, shutting down schools, and generally making people miserable, we thought it might be useful to visit the coldest town in this country where they believe there's no such thing as bad weather, only bad gear. Sub-Zero is a way of life, and these people fully embrace it. ABC's Juju Chang got a survival lesson. Here in the coldest city in the continental U.S., it's an average day. The wind chill? Negative 38. It's a little chilly. But Terry Mason is not intimidated. Here we go. In fact, the young mother of four is getting ready to do something most of us would never dare. Run about six miles in what some call the real winter games, an ultimate test of cold weather endurance under brutal conditions. I did see some very frosty eyelashes on the way in, uh, but it appears to be A-OK. -okay. So I've got my gloves, my hat, my double socks. That's what you really, really need. Nightline traveled to International Falls, Minnesota, where frigid is a way of life. Oh. Woo. The secret to surviving those brutal temperatures? No cowering indoors. These hardy souls do the opposite. They embrace it. Nice and warm. Right now, it's nine below zero. Go good. But it's not just a race. This Canadian border town dubbed the icebox of the nation celebrates the cold with this annual event for the young and the young at heart the bold and the brave. There's something for everyone in this town of 6,000. Keep up the good work, girls. And it's a lifestyle lesson for the rest of us, shivering through one of the coldest winters on record. It all starts with an early morning wake-up call. Good morning. It's time to get up and eat this. Terry is our local guy, a first grade teacher and mother of four. Mornings in the winter are dark. Nobody ever wants to get up because they swear you're waking them up in the middle of the night. To ward off cabin fever, the living room also doubles as the family gym. And the reason they're here is because it's so dark, so long, going to the basement is even more depressing. With temperatures as low as negative 50, getting ready to venture out involves a great deal of strategy. It's snow pants and jackets and boots and you have to find mittens and hats. And cold weather gear isn't cheap. The snow boots are um, on sale about $50 a piece, so that's $200. And then snow suits will run you about another 50 The family moved here from Texas 13 years ago. Houses in International Falls are not as big because you just can't heat them. To keep her car battery from dying in the cold, Terry's husband plugs it into a power outlet. You can plug in when it gets really below zero so that it doesn't, the battery doesn't die on you. It's always a personal goal to get out there before the car shuts off. The 6,000 or so residents of International Falls plan their week around the five-day forecast. When's going to be your long run day? When's going to be your inside day? All depending on the weather and the wind. Icebox day. 34 years of icebox days right here in International Falls. It's 837. It's the talk of the town. Yes, it is a little bit cold, but that's what it's all about. So only the bold run the cold. No, the cold and the bold. K104, talking up the festivities, like frozen turkey bowling. So many people are under the misconception they use live turkeys. No. What we do is we use frozen turkeys. Competitors gather from all over Minnesota and beyond. Yeah, it's a little chill. It's a little chilly. With fresh snow, the running conditions are less than ideal. How do your lungs not burn while you're doing this? Forever. This cute little thing? It, yeah. <laughs> here she comes, here she comes! Along the six-mile route, Terry gets some much-needed moral support. Doing okay? Doing good? How are you feeling? Good? Yeah. Halfway there. Cheering the runners on involves braving the cold. Go Shannon! There's Shannon Brown! Hey Cassidy, good job buddy! Does it take a special breed to live up there? It does. It, uh, if you're a real outdoorsy... Where I'm from, we complain when it drops below 40. Oh yeah? yeah. Ooh. That is, uh, we start the tomatoes when it's, <laughs> when it's still 40. <laughs> Terry crossing the finish line, placing first among the local women. Hey, I did it! <laughs> so my lips are numb. My sleep is all spurred. Nice one, Mom. Thank you. But I did it. How do you feel? 
Awesome. My only special gear was I screw my shoes. But she made a rookie mistake. My phone froze. <gasps> Your phone froze? Yes, and How? so it was dead. Oh. Because it was in my pocket and it gets mm. too cold. The battery died. So I was trying to warm it up. And so no music for the last mile. Ah! Her biggest mistake once led to frostbite. Don't let your feet get wet. They have to stay dry. Several months later, and she's still feeling the pain. It's just like a throbbing, constant, and it just hurts. Like, you don't even want to take your shoe off. But frostbite is a real danger for people up here. Oh, yeah. You can lose limbs if it's severe enough. Which is why we're all bundled up, except for this guy. Doesn't your arm sting? No, not really. You don't feel the cold? Not really, I just ignore it. And now, the event we've all been waiting for, frozen turkey bowling. <laughs> Next up, the toilet seat toss. What's the technique? Just, I don't know, it seems like that when you get it up and, you know, kind of do it this way instead of the sideways. You ready all right, there you go. There you, she's awesome, so look at way. her face. No! Downtown, just outside the Viking bar, it's Team Canada versus Team USA. I see now, this is an international competition, yes, I didn't realize. We live on a border town. <laughs> go Canada, go! It's an event called smooshing. So does this help aerodynamically? Is that what that happens? Is, it seems to really help. It's all <laughs> mental. It's all mental. And when you look fabulous, you perform fabulous. Okay. Ironically, Team Duluth traveled much farther to get here than Team Canada, which is just minutes away. On your marks, get set, go! This is for the big trophy! In the end, Team USA takes home the gold. There's our first place, guys, right there! But win or lose, these winter warriors show us, instead of cursing the cold, you just have to revel in it. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in International Falls, Minnesota.